Stanford University. This project has been a long time in coming. The Stanford Energy System Innovation Project will rely largely on renewable sources for its electricity and dramatically reduce its use of fossil fuel, primarily by achieving dramatic improvements in efficiency. It will reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by 68%, eliminating 150,000 tons of carbon dioxide. It will reduce our campus water use by 15%, and that's on top of a 21% reduction we've already achieved in the last 15 years. About two-thirds of our work will be done with heat recovery. Actually, 57% of the waste heat from cooling the campus will be reused to provide over 90% of the heating for our buildings. When you consider that about 20% of the nation's energy is consumed in heating and cooling buildings, then you can see the potential for this technology. We sought from the beginning to think about how we could make much more use of renewable resources in our electricity supply. The Stanford Solar Generating Station, which will be designed and built by SunPower, using technology which began dozens of years ago here at Stanford, will produce half of the university's electricity by 2016. Once the Stanford Solar Generating Station is operational, 65% of our campus electricity will be supplied from renewable sources. We are proud that our company's history is closely tied to Stanford and we're proud to partner with the university today in its unprecedented commitment to provide a majority of its campus electricity from renewable sources in California. We know that other organizations will follow the university in its bold vision, relying on the abundance of solar and other renewables to cleanly power their operations for the future. This is a big day not only I think for our university but hopefully a big day for the future of how people think about energy, using energy and producing it. Hopefully this project will serve as a model for others to see what can be done by thinking in a far-sighted way. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.